Hello guys and welcome to Let's Play Scribble Dots Unlimited. I am the next of you traits and okay, first of all, I know, I know this is a relatively new game and that's kind of frowned upon, but I, I'm sorry, I just could not help it. I just got this game. I literally just got it and I played it for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so and it blew my mind. It was so awesome. And I haven't played very far. I, I only got like past the first area, but this was so much fun. And I was reacting so giddily to everything I was capable of doing in this game that I just had to share it with you guys. So, I don't know whether you want... If you don't like seeing new games, then you can go away. I don't know. It's just this is for the people who do want to see it. And it's going to be so much fun. And I, I can't... I can't wait to share this with you. It's so awesome. All right, let's begin this thing. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma right. Julie. Ooh. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Ooh. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. <laughs> they competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Aww. The two of them semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Ugh. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. A beaver! That's adorable! Be these, these creations of unbelievable magical power given to small children. Because why not? Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So, they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. That seems safe. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. What a jerk! Why would you do that? Rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. Oh dear. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. Didn't seem like anything had happened. Hmm. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. What? We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man. The little girl so didn't do anything. deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it! I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, Maxwell's the one that screwed everything up. Why does she get cursed to become a statue? That doesn't seem fair at all. Oh, whatever. I will help you, dear sister. Oh, and in case you didn't know, I'm playing this on the Wii U. <laughs> uh, I can't record PC footage. All right, walk to the farmer. All right, what's up, Brosif? What you need me? Earn a star right by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. All right, I can do that. The basics. Tragically, the uh, tutorial level doesn't allow you to get really all that creative, but it gives you a good idea of how this game plays. So that's fine. Turn the run to the litter into an award-winning pig. Or write an object to help Maxwell scrub this pig. Okie dokie dokie. Type something to clean that pig. Uh, we will go simple, simple dimple, and get some soap. Put that in your hand. Now wash that. Wash that nasty ass pig. No. What happened? Wash the pig. Oh, wait, don't use the notepad. <sighs> Conveniently, this character, Maxwell, has the exact same name I do. That's kind of funny. 
Got the progress bar for a hint. Da dee 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 da. Alright, remove this object. I don't need no stinking soap no mo. The pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase its size. Alrighty, add an adjective. And I'll just type in large, and we will get a very large pig. I shall, perf I shall call him Professor Squinkles. Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create large wings enough to carry the pig. Okay. Just gotta make us some pigs so we can make a, a flying piggy. Flying Professor Squinkles. So large wings. There we go. The magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings into the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okie dokie. It's to surprise the judges. Which is, um, Harpo, Marx, a hippie, and a cowboy. That's a very odd little combination of judges, but whatever. And as you can clearly see in the, little, in the, in the left corner, that man has a guinea pig, which is adorable. Anyway, watching all of the magical flying pig. And they are impressed with my flying pig, as they should be. There we go. You are third place pig. Second place pig. Or guinea pig. The guinea pig beats the normal pig. And my magical flying professor, Squinkles, takes the gold. <laughs> well, there you go. And that made him happy, which gives us our first. All right. Pick that son of a, son of a what what up. This game is already adorable. <laughs> I can't handle it. All right. Let us continue. Our epic quest. Alright, what's up? Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a starite. Use starite vision to find shards. Yeah, this is actually kind of creepy. You can get, like, this weird infrared vision in the, in all of the, uh... Oh, you can't see it. Oh, it's on my gamepad, though. But everything, it's like... It's like I turned into the Predator or something. It's weird. Anyway. Tap golden objects for hints. Help the sprout grow. So, you want help with your sprouts, eh? Okay, well, what... A sprout, a sprout. Okay. Well, every, every good thing needs... Water, but no, that's boring. Let's create rain. Let us be mumbo, mumbo jumbo, and go umanaka. There we go. Oh god, it's a piranha plant. All right, and it's uh, it's Audrey, and it's gonna go on a rampage and murder everybody. Uh, not my best move. The plant scared away the other shot opportunities. Reset the level to the original to return all objects to their original state while keeping your earned shards. Well, ain't that just a big old pile of convenient? All right, Rossetti, go. Now we must help the second person who needs our help. All right. While the, uh, while the notepad can create many things, vulgarity, copyrighted materials, and proper nouns are not allowed. That is perfectly acceptable in my opinion. I mean, it's still it's a little kid's game. Help me. What do you need, small child? My kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. Hmm. That is quite the conundrum. All right, this is the first thing we get to be super creative about, so let's think and think and think and think and think about it. All right. I mean, a boring person could like, oh, let's make a ladder. Nah, that's stupid. That's stupid. What's a cool way to get a cat out of a tree? Um, let's make us some jet boots. Yes. Drag clothing onto Maxwell, and he will wear that. Yep. Bada bada bing, bada bada boom, and we can fly, son. Flying like a mad crazy person. Pick up that cat. There we go. Gotcha. Here's your kitty, small girl. I have saved him for you. Here, have a cat. There you go, little girl. Have fun. Level complete! Woo! And that's everything we can do on this farm. Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey in Capital City. Capital City, where things are so pretty. Tap Max Bell and select Pick an Avatar to play as an unlocked brother. That's right, we can unlock... Many, 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 many of all of Maxwell's scarily large amount of brothers, but oh, oh, oh we are so not gonna do that. Oh no, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do it off screen. But you can co you can pretty much fully customize your character to be pretty much whatever the hell you want him to be, and it's gonna be glorious. I'm gonna, you, you guys are gonna like it when you see it. Anyway, this was just the, this was just the beginning. Our adventure has only just begun, and things are gonna get crazy awesome. You guys have no idea how awesome this is gonna get. Okay, okay, I know things were pretty pretty simple and pretty slow, but this is just an intro. This is just an intro. Join me next time where things are gonna get crazy! I'll see you guys then.